Warning! This video contains frank discussion of matters of sexual morality. Just thought you might want to know. Hey! Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense, this season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first five commandments, and now it's time to tackle the sixth, Thou shalt not commit adultery. This time, prostitution. What is it, and is it part of the prohibition of the sixth commandment? Again, the Catechism doesn't define prostitution, so instead I'll be referring to a dictionary definition. Prostitution is the practice or occupation of engaging in sex with someone in exchange for payment. In other words, prostitution has two distinctive traits. One, it's a sexual action had with someone else. Two, payment is received in exchange for this sexual action. Now, to start with, it should be pointed out that while this doesn't seem to be a necessary part of the definition of the word, the vast majority of prostitutes do business with someone who they're not married to, which is either adultery or fornication, and therefore falls under the Sixth Commandment by definition. However, even if one is only a prostitute for their own spouse, it seems that a strong argument can be made that this is still lustful behavior. In fact, let's look at the three criteria that make a choice lustful again right now and see whether this kind of prostitution applies. 1. Lustful decisions always involve desiring a lesser aspect of sex, such as pleasure, more than a greater aspect, such as unity with a spouse. The problem here is not necessarily with procreation, but with unity, and especially with the total gift of self that should be present in the sexual act. It's not a total gift if you're being paid for sex. In fact, it's demeaning, since no payment is equal to the incredible gift of sex in its complete form. In fact, it's an insult to the bodies of both persons because of that. And how can it be a perfect union if it has a serious insult embedded in it? Therefore, prostitution fulfills criteria one. 2. Lustful decisions always involve sex or sex-based motives on at least some level. Yes, prostitution is clearly sex-based. It therefore fulfills criteria 2. 3. A lustful decision can be any action, word, or thought as long as it conforms to these criteria. Prostitution is an action and therefore fulfills criteria 3. So it follows that having fulfilled these three criteria, prostitution is always lustful and always against the Sixth Commandment. Next time, what's rape, and does it fall under the Sixth Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.